What's up, everybody? Mike Dusso, Evan Lazar, coming back for Patriots.com. And yes, the Patriots 2023 season schedule is out. Evan and I here are going to break it down for you. And we're going to break it up by the bye week. Because for me, Evan, I kind of look at this as like everything's kind of leading up to this big game in yes. Germany. And then we have the bye week. So that'll kind of reset things. You always want the bye to be a little bit later in the season. So I love that. One other thing, like, like let's just start right at the top. Tom Brady coming back to Gillette Stadium for the home opener against the NFC defending champs, the Philadelphia Eagles, who lost to the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. So what an outstanding game just yeah. to kick off the season. Tom Brady in the house. The energy is sure to be through the roof. And, of course, it's just it's a really good team. It's going to be a tough challenge right out of the gate. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the Patriots' defense specifically matches up against the Eagles' offense. Because on paper, you look at the Eagles' mobile quarterback, RPOs, college-style offense with Nick Sirianni. Those are the types of offenses that typically give the Patriots problems. So I'm interested to see how the Patriots' defense is able to cope with that type of offense now really though when you look at these first four weeks of the season we know the statistics mike when you start 0 and 2 0 and 3 you can forget about it like the season's over at that point statistically speaking the patriots play four really good teams out of the gate and you have to figure out a way to come out of that at least two and two i think to give yourself a realistic chance of making the postseason so i, I look at those two divisional games against miami and the jets and i say those two games are really games that you got to win because Dallas, Philly, unfamiliar. You have some issues with those types of quarterbacks. I would say Miami and the Jets are the best bet to get two wins in that first four games, and, and you need them because the rest of the schedule is hard too. It's part of a theme, I think, throughout the season, and that is like the, the grouping of two AFC East teams all together throughout the season. You'll get yeah. the third one in the second slide, but you know you talk about the season opener with Philly, going to be a huge uh, you know atmosphere, hype, all that. Yeah. But then you go national television against the Dolphins, who you know you beat them last year in the, in the rematch, but no Tua in that game. Right. They were kind of limping into the playoffs. So you know that's a team that, that has given the Patriots plenty of problems as well and of course we know all about Aaron Rodgers as we get though down to the end I mean big game with Buffalo and then everything wraps up in Germany and hopefully we'll be there uh, providing excellent yes. coverage as always but let's move on Evan until yeah, after one, the bye. One more thing yeah, about go ahead. Germany. I do like that they put the bye after Germany because that's a thing that you can opt into but you don't have to do but I think it's going to be important uh, to come back from that game and recharge after that trip to Germany so look at those trips last year and you know I've, I've been skeptical about how many trips we took last year I like the bye after Germany. I think the big thing though with those early games certainly tough but it's you know can you just stay in the mix and, and you know yeah. for a team like the Patriots who have been you know kind of on the cusp of the playoffs can you at least give yourself a chance here as you get into the end now you know the thing that stands out to me is just all these road games, you know, road game, road game, road game, road game. A lot for the Patriots. We all know New Year's Eve, Buffalo hasn't been kind to the Patriots lately. Christmas Eve in Denver. I mean, that's historically a really tough place to play. So and I think if you're going to talk about getting a push to the playoffs, yeah. they're going to have to be road warriors. Of course, it's hard to ignore this one, too. Maybe the highlight of the season. Yeah, the big game here, at least, I think, other than the opener because of Brady coming back, is certainly that Kansas City game. But I look at a few of these games here. We can clear this out quickly. Giants, Steelers, Bron like you got to win those games. Like if you're going to really have a chance this year to make the postseason, those are the three games where their quarterbacks aren't exactly great. Like I know the jury's still out a little bit on how Russell Wilson's going to work out in Denver after that uh, bad first year. Daniel Jones, I, I know he got the contract. I still don't trust it. And, and then obviously Kenny Pickett against Mac Jones, I think is a, an even quarterback matchup on that Thursday night. But you look at the rest of this, and then you got to go against Herbert, and then you got to go against Josh Allen and Mahomes, and then back to Rodgers. That, that's, those are some of the best quarterbacks in the league. So if you're going to start to stack wins together, think about how can the Patriots get to 9, 10, maybe even 11 wins to make the postseason. The Giants, the Steelers, the Broncos, they need W's in those games. And you mentioned all three of them on the road. Uh, so that makes it a little bit more tricky. But I, I think when you look at this schedule, the quarterback gauntlet that they're about to go through this season is pretty significant. So when you play some of these softer QBs, you got to take advantage. Yeah, you know, short week here, having to go onto the road on Pittsburgh, team you're kind of familiar with, just some, but then you make it up on the back end with the long yeah. break, 11 days after, before you have to take on those Kansas City Chiefs. So certainly a daunting schedule. It is every year. Patriots are going up against a lot of good teams, a lot of marquee games. Philadelphia, Kansas City, a lot of the Iron at AFC, and of course our old divisional rivals, which should certainly be very interesting this year with Aaron Rodgers in the division. We'll be back next time, though, with plenty more of Patriots Topcom content to break down for you.